right, so happy holidays, everyone. This is another simple holiday special episode of uh, Shooter Saturday where we're going over holiday themed games and things. And everyone's going to be talking about the new Winter Keratin map from COD World War II. I wanted to be a little unorthodox and go over one of my favorite Christmas FPS maps ever, and that is Advanced Warfare's Drift. Now, just in general, I love Advanced Warfare's DLC maps. Oh god, I'm hovering. Oh. Like, this game was a lot of fun in my opinion, but wow, it hasn't aged as well as I'd like it to. I guess I'm just used to, like, 4K, super sampled 4K. I think the era of 900p games is over, gentlemen, and maybe a lady or two. So, you guys haven't realized why I'm, why I'm using this? Maybe I'll have to put it in the, in the title so people get it. I'm using a Red Rider. Get it? There's nothing more Christmassy than a Red Rider. You can thank that stupid movie for that. I don't think there's a more, like, holiday-appropriate gift than a Daisy Red Rider BB gun that you can give to a boy or girl in your life. If you have a nephew or a niece or a brother or a sister, and you're thinking, what do I get them for Christmas, Hanukkah, or my pagan holiday where I sacrifice virgins, I get them a Red Rider, you know? And, and if you are that pagan person I just mentioned, you can shoot the virgin with the BB gun before you kill him. It's a lot of fun for the whole family. Just But just the lighting in this engine... It's funny, I think this is actually the same engine they used for MWR. The exact same one. No different versions or anything. Um, so that's kind of funny. But it has the... Just, just good lighting. Not realistic, not perfect. Just real good. It's got a good warm feel to it. I like that hover thing. The exo abilities were cool in this game. They just weren't competitively viable. Uh, Sledgehammer had, like, a really good toolbox with this game, I think, but then they fucked it. They, they didn't balance the weapons. The game just became a clusterfuck of BAL ASM1 warfare. With the occasional HBR and KF5, and not to mention all the overpowered variants like the Hole Puncher. I should have not given these bots laser weapons, because the bots with laser weapons will just melt you instantly. But also, what a good choice for a holiday theme map, like a train station. There's nothing more holiday than a train station. Waiting for your family members to get home for the holidays, airports, and train stations. I really affiliate those with the holidays. You know, family members coming in from all over, arriving on trains, planes, and or automobiles. I remember really liking this map when it came out. I used to have a lot of fun playing on it. I used to private match on it with my buddies, just because we just like the look of it. It's very... It's very nostalgic. I know uh, this game didn't come out too long ago, and maybe I'm just a sap, but it's it's nostalgic. It's it's undeniably nostalgic for me. Also, when I think of this game, I think of when I started my YouTube channel. Miserable and afraid. Now I'm miserable afraid, but I'm sarcastic and funny. And I make more money. <laughs> oh no, it's happening. Oh yeah, the carousel spins. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed. Oh god. I don't know if I should be here. Shit. And there's Avalanche. What the fuck? Where? Now oh, that just appears there, huh? You know what? This is also festive. And this makes me think that the whole community is gonna have to come together and help rebuild what the Avalanche destroyed. It's a Christmas story that people will tell for years. So, since my last Shooter Saturday Christmas special thingy with uh, the MWR Christmas crash map, have you guys done anything festive? Have you had some eggnog like I asked you to? Did you go caroling? Did you buy presents for somebody? Did you peek at your own presents? I'm always, I was always conflicted when I was a kid if I could go peek at my presents or not. Like, part of me really wanted to know what I got, and part of me really wanted to be surprised. Almost half and half, so... It's always very conflicting to me. Woohoo! I forgot how bouncy this game is. It doesn't penalize you for using its movement, it's just like... Woohoo! God, if I had my fucking Elite controller with this game, that'd be awesome. Oh god. I need an Elite controller, guys. I put it on my, uh... My, uh, my Jew Boy Hanukkah list, just to see what happens. I don't think I'm gonna get one, though. I'd like to own one. I had a dream that I owned one and killed a bunch of people. Like, in real life. Nothing com 
It wasn't about really the uh, elite controller at all. I just I just got it and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I'm gonna go fucking slaughter people. I'm gonna switch to the AK. Uh, just as festive. When I think of the AK, I think of holiday, holiday cheer. Um, speaking of AK-47s, in my last Shooter Saturday, uh, I was playing MWR. I killed one of the Al-Qaeda guys on the enemy team. And, uh, some guy was, I said, uh, screw off Arabs with your war on Christmas or something. And somebody in the comment section actually took it seriously. Like, they were really upset that I said that. Um, I, I don't think Arabs, quote, in general, I have, I have a war on Christmas. I don't, I obviously don't think that. That was the point of the joke, is that it's kind of, it's silly, but I hear, I hear it a lot. I live in Idaho, and there's a fair amount of people that probably think ISIS is just around the corner every year. And yes, they probably also affiliate all Arabs as being ISIS. I don't know, I was kind of offended that somebody would actually assume that I meant that. Like, it, that offends me more than the fact that, like, I don't know. No one can really offend me by saying, you know, fuck white people or something. That doesn't really offend me. I'm offended when someone thinks that I'm actually being offensive when I'm just telling ironic jokes. I forgot how good this little pistol was. It's even better against recruit bots. Oh, shit. Keep jumping. Oh, you can't hit me if I keep jumping. Actually, that's kind of funny. The, the bots cannot track you when, you, when you're bouncing around. But you don't really need a scuff controller or an elite controller to do good jump shotting in this game. I remember, uh, there was a pretty decent movement of people during this game's life cycle that said that this game has such strong aim assist when you were in the air, so you just jump up and headshot people because it was super easy. And because of how many times... I heard people say it. I assume some big YouTuber started it as a rumor. Because if you have a YouTube channel or whatever, even if you don't, and you see a lot of people saying the same shit, you know some YouTuber started the rumor. I'm sure I've spread misinformation that way too, and I do kind of feel bad when I think about the fact that I haven't always been right. Skeet skeet. Shotgun LMG, bitches. <laughs> Uh, I wish people still played this game online. It's impossible to find a game in it. But it's so much fun to cheese people, especially with some of the more overpowered shit. It wasn't fun at the time because you were tired of dealing with the overpowered shit, but like... Retrospectively... Shotgun mode. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. No, you can't slide and shoot, but I still did, I still did it. Woohoo! I feel like this game would have been... A lot better with a slightly, slightly, slightly longer time to kill. Hear me out. Slightly longer time to kill and a little bit of weapon balancing. And this game's movement speed, map size, and combat style, I think would have, you know, wouldn't have been half bad. I think it had uh, other limitations, though. And I think it's also because Sledgehammer is just a little bad at some basic things. Maybe they'll, maybe next year they'll get it. But already with COD World War II, they're proving that. Weapon balance eludes them. Woohoo! This thing was such a cool little uh, gimme gun. Black Ops 3 didn't even give a gimme gun, didn't they? Black Ops 3 was just like, if you want new shit, you have to gamble for it. Real money is preferred, otherwise it will take all of your adult life. And this game was like, yeah, kind of the same, but at least you can get this cool little revolver. And our DLCs have guns in them. So, you're guaranteed some shit. Oh, Black Ops 3 is probably the least consumer-friendly Call of Duty ever. Oof. Black Ops 3 has better weapon balance, but then, like, worse balance in other areas. I don't know. Does Black Ops 3 have a Christmas map? I might look at that. Does Battlefield have a Christmas map? Battlefield 4 or Hardline? I don't know. I have to think about it. Well, I fucking won. Again. I won last time, and I won this time. Zero deaths. Did I just fucking quote PewDiePie? I was gonna get demonetized just for quoting that guy. Well, that guy's fucking dead. Well, happy holidays, guys. I showcased one of my favorite maps. I had fun doing it. It was easy to put together. It's late at night. I'm gonna edit this together, and you guys can enjoy this video. I do wanna take one second to say, though, this game's character customization was so cool. 
if we had a Call of Duty with this much customization again, like supply drops that were like cosmetic only, where you can really tweak what your character looks like, like drastically tweak what your character looks like. I thought this was such a cool thing. Some people had, you know, bitch fits about it, but honestly, irrelevant to me. I like that I could always look different every day I played this game. No, wait. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Ah, this game's cool.